Hi guys! I'm going to give you a little quick tutorial on how to use the printable Henry files in Inkscape. Before you even try in Inkscape, make sure you have downloaded and extracted all of your files in your zip file that you purchased. When I get started here, you're not going to be able to see the drop downs on these. When I'm clicking them, for some reason the video is not picking it up. But you'll see what I'm talking about when you open Inkscape, and I'll name each thing that I'm clicking on. So for starters, you just want to go to File and Import. Find your files. I have mine all saved under Printable Henry and then Categories under that. So I'm just going to go with the Besties file. I'm going to bring in something simple that you don't need body parts for except for hands for the first tutorial. Real simple and easy. I'm just going to bring in the bestie jackets and you will click on that file and you can either check it and click open or just double click on it. So now I have the bestie jackets. I'm going to make them a little bigger for me and a little more curvier figures. Then I'm going to bring in arms and Give me just a second, sorry. Should have rearranged these the other way. Actually, I'm gonna bring in the bottoms first. So we're gonna go with a one jean. And then go in and bring in another shorts. Okay, so now I have these. Just going to make them a little bigger to work with. Another way to keep from losing proportions on this, let me go back and undo that. If you click on your object and go up here and then lock it, when you move it, it won't lose its proportion when you enlarge it. So we'll leave that one there. I'm going to go back and make this one a little bigger. Now I'm going to right click on the jackets because I need them on top. So you're going to right click, another window will open and you click move to layer one. So now the jackets are on top right where I need them. I need some arms. Go back to file and import and then find your arms. And I'm going to go with this. While Sharon, when she designed these files, gave you both left and right, there is a simpler way to use it in Inkscape. So let's lock this so when we scale it, it's going to be not lose its proportion. You'll notice in Inkscape, when you get too close corner to corner, it'll start shifting on its own. Just hold your shift button down and you can move that and that'll stop happening. So and that's about where I want it, but I need it underneath the jackets and I need it to not stick out. So I'm going to right click on the jackets, move to layer one. Then I'm going to come back over here and click on this arm, double click it. And then now you have your turning tools where you can rotate this. So we'll see how much we need to rotate it, which is about good but I need it a little bigger. These would technically be if you were sitting, but you can use that or you can delete that and pull back in another arm. And we'll go with this one because their arms aren't in the sleeves of the jacket anyway, in my opinion. So we're gonna bring this in yeah, about right there. Then go back to the jackets, right click, move to layer one. There we go. So when I told you that Sharon designed both left and right arms, she did. But instead of going back into files and searching for the arm that you need, you can click on that arm, right click, duplicate, bring it over, then go to object and flip horizontal. 
Now you've made it a left arm. And move it where you want it. Right click on your jackets, move to layer one. And then you can get it where you want it. So now we need to bring in some hair. I'm going to bring in this and lock it. It's already locked. And shift button so that I can place it without it trying to shift around on me. Then I need to bring in a second hair, so import, go back and search for your file, and we'll make this one a little braid. I actually need that a little bigger. There we go, seeing the collar of the jacket on both sides. So now let's add something to their hands import and let's go back and find our drinks and then we'll give one glass of wine and go back in and bring in a margarita there we go so i want to make these just a little bigger and yes i know that might be a tad bit too big but I need to right click on this arm and move it to layer one to get it in place of the cup. Then I can rearrange my cup and then go back to the jacket. Well, let's do the wine first. And let's grab this arm, move to layer one. Now let's um, move this wine where it should be. I don't like the way that's sticking out. Ungroup. There. Now lock it. Go back to the jacket. Move to layer one. Everything's covered. Go back and move your hairs because you did undo it. And Draw a square around it all, select group on the right, and voila, you have your best friends. Pretty simple.